Welcome to a Brawl Box tutorial called uh, I'll come up with a name later but the point is that this is a different method to do something that we've already been able to do with the program Ash or it's not really a program but with the method of Ash which is alter a character's actual textures so those custom textures you've seen around we're going to learn how to do that using Brawlbox instead of Ash. It's a fairly simple process. Really enjoyable. Open up Brawlbox. Open up a character with nice stuff. Uh, Kirby's hammer is pretty nice. So let's do that. Kirby, etc. His hammer is the first one. Bing. So the texture data for that would be right above it. So we have the hammer BRO, the hammer GO, and the hammer SO. This is the beautiful little star. So what we're probably going to do is change the star to a cool color. So export to a place you'll remember. This is important. So when you save it, we'll have to check what... Okay, this is a PNG file, which is great. I forgot to mention at the beginning, but you'll need Brawlbox for this tutorial, which should be obvious. But also, you'll need a photo editing software that can edit PNG files. A big problem with the old method was that it saved them in Targa, which not very many programs can actually edit. So what I just did was explore the other one. This is so easy. It's like butter on toast. I'm going to use Photoshop because Photoshop is pretty... Wow, bad spelling. Open up Photoshop. Um, Photoshop can edit pretty much every image file, hence the point of Photoshop. I'm not sure if... Uh, like MS Paint can open PNG, but might have some problems if you go to do that. I'm not sure what they would be, but you can try it out. So I'm going to recommend you get Photoshop, but only because that's the only image editing thing I have other than the uh, MS Paint. Don't get me wrong, I love MS Paint. Amazing. Anyway, so go into this. Now I'm not going to be teaching you advanced Photoshop techniques. I'm just going to be telling you that this is something you can do and it doesn't matter if you're into it or not. Look at that red hammer file. It doesn't matter how you edit this image. It's going to be edited. That's the point. Okay. The fact is, it used to be different. Now you're editing it. I don't. It doesn't matter what you want to change it to. Like this is obviously basic. I could change the star to be my name. I could change the star to be a happy face, the awesome face. Anything. In fact, I might change it to the awesome face later. But see, now we have these. This is great. Now you might be going, well, that's great, but how do I actually change it? Now this is the easiest part, because before in Ash you had to compile things, but now you can just replace, as we learned in those other tutorials. So we edited this, right-click, replace. Uh, what file was that? That was B-O. So replace with PO. Da 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 da. Then we replaced SO. Replace with SO. Okay. Da 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 da. File. Save as. Save it somewhere you'll remember, but don't overwrite your original file. So say red hammer. Save it, and you're done. When you put when you put this in your SD card. 
just get rid of the extension you put to the name and it will it'll just have a red hammer it'll be great and on my demonstration which you can view it'll be in the description uh, you can see this and you can do this to really anything uh, Ganondorf's sword which is only in his taunt Mario's fireball lots of things so I really encourage you to play around with this because it's a lot easier to edit these things than it was before also I would like to encourage you to go to Kitty Court Meow Mix forums because they have a lot of great information for these types of things and you can see a lot of people's uh, texture hacks and get inspired from that so have a lot of fun with modding brawl and continue to stay tuned for brawl box tutorials thank you